Live from the Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is KCAL 9 News at 7 a.m. Well, one holiday meal down, plenty more to go. It can be tough to keep off those extra pounds during the holidays, but joining us now is Mariana Rosano. She is the CEO of Zen Foods, and thank Hi. you for being here. My pleasure. She's going to have some great tips on how to eat healthy during the holidays, it, right? Exactly. It can be done. It can be done. <laughs> we have to think about it a little, but it can be done. One of the problems it seems that people have is they go through like the emotional eating over the holidays, whether it's for good or for bad, mm -hmm. and it causes a lot of inflammation if we're drinking too much alcohol, having too many sugars. So what we like to do is maybe a couple of days after you've had something bad to eat, think about your how to get rid of inflammation. Mm. There are certain ways to do it. We like to do things like a cleanse, yeah, which juice. you can get anywhere or even if you want to make your own, mm -hmm. and add certain ingredients like turmeric, ginger, chia seeds, cinnamon, even with our coffees in the morning, add just a touch of cinnamon, you'd be surprised. Mm. Good anti-inflammatory agents. Exactly. Yeah. Turmeric okay. in your food, ginger, raw mm -hmm. ginger, wonderful. So we do a cleanse, which we call a spa cleanse, which we do raw soups, raw salads, and then we give you six juices a day. You even get a Himalayan salt bath with your anti-inflammatory tea that you have to do each day as and well while you're on the cleanse. Is that pumpkin soup, Mariana? That's pumpkin soup. That looks delicious. Amazing superfood, also has anti-inflammatory properties. Okay. So then we come over to some of the other things that mm -hmm. you could be doing. Yeah. Rather than making your waffles with uh, whole wheat, wheat flour, whatever, turn them into paleo waffles and mm -hmm. make them with almond flour. Delicious. You'd be surprised how good they are with your fresh berries, some raw maple syrup. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, sure, there's a little sugar here and there, but yeah. if you're using healthy versions of, it's much better. And with a little turkey bacon, maybe. Turkey bacon. <laughs> I love turkey bacon. Yes. <laughs> healthy frittatas with like spinach and things like that in them, some egg whites. Maybe just use one egg yolk, mm -hmm. make a healthier breakfast for yourself. And you can make a whole muffin tin of those and then have them ready to go. Perfect right? for when you're having guests for yeah. the holidays. Yes. Yeah. So, and then you want to have a healthier breakfast, fruits, yogurts. We do a turmeric yogurt as well oh. because still focusing on that. The more anti-inflammatories you can add without adding that much flavor, it just makes you healthier and makes you feel better. Especially, like I said, because a lot of us are drinking a little too much over yeah. the holidays, so that will help. Um, we have healthy salads that you could be eating. You gotta watch your portion control, especially yeah. when you're at those wonderful buffets over the holidays. Just, and, and pick from the healthier things. Pick more fruits, vegetables, lean proteins. Try to stay away from the really heavy carbs. Like we'll do a cauliflower mashed potato, oh, which you can that. barely even tell the difference from a regular mashed potato. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing to try. Wow. Stay with your fresh veggies. Um, and then we could talk about desserts if you like. Yeah. And because that's a big thing over the holidays. Huge. And I think that we really need to enjoy ourselves. We should give ourselves those little pleasures, but we can make them healthy. Mm -hmm. Like right here, we have yeah, a chocolate dream good. cake. It's made with zucchini, believe it or not. And we also sweeten things with organic maple or honey. Okay, so no refined sugars. Exactly. Yeah. And then oh with, um, this is, uh, passion we do fruit. passion fruit. And, and everything is made with like fresh yogurt and fruits and things like we actually make our own fruit blend that we put in there. Who doesn't and love a good red velvet? I know. <laughs> but you know what? When we look at red velvet, we think of dye, artificial. So we make this with pomegranate and beet juice. That's so amazing. then that makes a healthy version. Wow. You know, and what are some of the tips, would you say, Mariana, for before you go to that holiday party? Maybe eat well during the day, have a healthy snack so you're not inclined exactly. to gorge on the cheese and yes. the, the bad stuff, right? Yeah, and drink a lot of water as well because then you're washing it out, you're helping with that. And for those who do make their own juices, I would say a good green juice with some ginger the next morning, that helps a lot. Why are those inflammatory agents so important? Because a lot of the things that we eat, anti-inflammatory, I should say, a lot of the things that we eat and we do are very stressful, mm -hmm. and especially over the holiday season. So if we're having more anti-inflammatories, it's actually fighting all of the bad things we're eating and all of the things that we're dealing with during that time. Sounds pretty good. It's all about balance. It sounds exactly. Like. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. And for more information on some of these tips and Zen foods, just go to our website, kcal9.com. You can click on Scene on TV. And you can also put in a special code, KCAL9, for a special offer for viewers for Zen Foods. We'll be right back.